Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Our question for today comes from, uh, let's see, Jim B. Let's see if he says he signs it Jim. Okay, so I don't have a, a call sign. Um, he asks an interesting question. He says uh, that it is apparently true that if a conductor for an antenna is thicker, that the bandwidth will be wider and the, therefore the Q a little bit less. That is true to an extent. Um, however, you have to get the uh, conductor substantially thicker uh, for it to work. Now understand on 60, 40, and on up to, to 12, um, a single wire dipole can cover the entire band, just ordinary wire like 14 gauge or something like that, or 16 gauge. I'd recommend 14 gauge, but um, there's all different kinds of antenna wire that you can use for that. A hard-drawn copper is probably the strongest. I wouldn't go steel unless it's coated with copper because steel is not as good a conductor as copper. Um, ideally, you could coat it with silver, but uh, I think that you can only get about a 6% better conduction uh, and <laughs> silver is expensive. Anyway, silver is the best conductor uh, on the uh, periodic table. Now, um, the thing is, on those bands, it doesn't matter how thick the conductor is because your dipole is going to cover the entire band. Now, where you might run into a little trouble is 15 meters, but I have found that uh, generally the antennas will cover most of the band. 10 meters is a very wide band. goes from uh, 28.0 to 29.7 except the upper part of it from 29 to 29.7 is set aside for FM work. So you only have to cover the megahertz, one out of 28 megahertz. So a single wire will cover pretty much everything that you need. The big difference is on 80 meters. 80 meters, the problem is the width of the band compared with the center frequency of the band. The um, on 80 meters, you've got a band that's very wide compared to the center frequency, and a single dipole may cover at most 100 kilohertz out of a 500 kilohertz wide band. And so a lot of hams have two antennas, one for 80 meters for CW and um, um, for CW and FT8. Okay, and another one for 75 meters to cover the top of the band. There are a lot, and please be aware of this, there are a lot of uh, commercially made verticals that claim they cover 80 meters. They only cover about a 25 kilohertz to 50 kilohertz wide segment of 80 meters. And which segment it is, you will choose when you set up the antenna. Okay, this is very important because it is, uh, I think, a little bit misleading um, for advertisers to say that their, their antennas cover 80 meters when in fact they only cover a part of it. Now, I do have an antenna that will cover all of 80 meters. It is the uh, Step IR, Big IR vertical, which when you accessorize it comes out around $2,500 very expensive antenna, but it has a coil at the bottom, a loading coil for 80 meters, and it's got a, a stepping switch in there uh, where you can select different taps, so each tap covers a different part of 80 meters or 60 meters, okay? And that way you can do it, I mean, that's an active solution for it. But as I said, the Step IR antennas, their market is really more commercial and military, so the they're priced accordingly, okay? The thing's bulletproof, but, uh, and it is a very good antenna. It's the antenna I use for antenna comparisons. So um, let's look on the whiteboard at this idea. Some people have tried this. 
instead of just a single wire for 80, they build a cage. at each end and they run wires like this okay so you get this cage effect now you can run more wires if you want but the idea is to make this two to three feet wide. And this thing, from an RF point of view, acts as a single conductor that's very thick. And of course, you get the transmission from the surface of this virtual conductor. And this can work over a much broader bandwidth. Uh, bring these to some point here. And, and of course, when you feed it, you're going to bring the feed line in here and you'll have an insulator on each of these wires and you'll put the wires out appropriately with even lengths and so on and this can make an 80 meter antenna now this is instead it's it's 132 feet long approximately you'll have to adjust that depending but you can cover maybe not the entire 80 meter segment but a good big chunk of it now, um, what Jim was asking was whether it would be possible to build a cage like this and, and cover it with aluminum screening. Now, there's an issue there. First of all, just the wires are enough to make this thing appear like it's a solid conductor. So you don't need to put anything else on it. But I do want to look at two things I'm asked about a lot. One is um, chicken wire. Chicken wire, as you know, goes like this. And then you have the next section up. And these are wrapped. They come up. And it's wrapped with the one up there and down here. And it's wrapped with the one here. These are just uh, wrapped. There is no intent that this will be a forever type uh, connection between the wires. And it's galvanized steel anyway, so um, it's not that good a conductor. But the problem is that with time you will get corrosion in these things right here. And you will lose your electrical connection or it will be high resistance or something like that. So with t time and not a lot of time, this quickly degrades as an uh, electrical connector. Okay, so um, the same happens with an aluminum screen. You've got the warp and the weft down here okay they touch they absolutely do touch and when it's brand new it will have pretty good conductivity but with time these are just touching with time a tiny bit of corrosion in there can cause the aluminum screen to stop conducting electricity very well just like the chicken wire this is why i recommend against both some people want to put ground planes down a chicken wire. You run into this problem very quickly. Better to put a radial plane out with actual radials. What happens as the wave progresses out here, it's progressing on all of these at the same time. And even if this were a solid copper plate, you would get this propagation of a wave from the center out to the edge. So use wires instead of the screen or this. That said, you can uh, certainly create one of those dipoles. They're called cage dipoles, and there's some discussion of them in the antenna handbook. They're only good for um, 80 meters and to some extent 160 meters. The problem on 160 meters is you've got a two um, 100 kilohertz band uh, with the center frequency of 1.9 uh, megahertz 
and you've got an even bigger problem on 80 meters with the 500 kilohertz band with the center frequency of 3750 okay so those are the two bands where you might try uh, these cage antennas or you can um, just put up a dipole and use the part that you want or put up multiple dipoles or something like that and see what you get so there you have it I'd like to say a special thank you to my patron John T. Davis for supporting this channel uh, every month uh, you too can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og so until we next meet 73.